pandemic shut down movie theaters all over the country, and they have just started to try to make a comeback. WMAR 2 News' Christian Schaefer has a look at the difficult road to get the box offices back open at two of Baltimore City's classic movie palaces. Going to the movies is different now in a world still battling a global pandemic, but people are going. This was Thursday night at the Charles Theater in Baltimore. Social distancing, keeping people apart, you know, they put all systems in place. Okay. It's, it's working. I think we can feel safe coming back out. People need to get out. Here at the Charles, the sight of actual paying customers is a reason to celebrate. The excitement and the lines and the smell of the popcorn popping and the jazz playing in the lobby and everyone's excited. Masks are mandatory, by the way, unless the customer is eating that popcorn or some other snack. There used to be moviegoers in these seats every night before. Before the dark times. Yes, but not the empire. It was the pandemic that hit the movie industry like a shot from the Death Star. In March of last year, all theaters forced to shut down. It's really surreal thinking back on that time. That included the Senator and the Charles Theaters in Baltimore, both of which are owned by Kathleen Lyon and her father. Our heads were spinning. It was just, there's nothing you can do to prepare for that. It's not like any kind of business decision you could make or not make. It's been no better for the big national chains. Nationwide movie ticket sales dropped 80% from 2019 to 2020. No customers and now even stronger competition from streaming services. Kathleen Lyons says her theaters were actually doing well against the Netflixes and Hulus of the world. It had been a sequel to their competition with the VCR and movie rental chains decades ago. You can watch stuff at home, you always have been able to. Um, or you can leave your house and you can be with other people and you can have a social experience and you can see something on a big screen and you can get out of your pajamas. But then the pandemic hit and stretched through the summer, the fall, the winter. The bills kept coming in, the customers could not. You sort of look at your bank account as it dwindles away and decide, what bills can you pay? What do you need to defer? What can be covered? What can't be covered? They did get help from federal assistance programs, and they've spent the downtime adding plexiglass to busy areas, moving to paperless ticketing, and upgrading the theater's ventilation systems. But if a comeback story is going to happen, it will have a lot to do with a concept expressed in another movie. People will come, Ray. That's the one, and Kathleen Lyon actually said it during our interview. People will come. And people did come. The Charles Theater had a soft opening last weekend, playing many of this year's Oscar nominees on the big screen to crowds that just might have wanted to be reminded of all, all that once, once was good, and it could be again. And they were happy, and they were comfortable, and they felt safe, and they enjoyed the movie, and I think it's going to be a gradual process.